Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. video for Nintendo 3DS. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing yet another character walkthrough for another one of the new characters in Smash Bros. You guys have been asking me to cover a few more new people, so I'm going to do just that. And this video is all about Rosalina and Luma. Now, as with all the other videos, I'm going to jump into training mode first and show you all of her basic moves. So A moves, B moves, Smash moves, all that stuff like that. And then I'm going to jump into her match so you can see her in action. So with that out of the way, then let's jump straight into it. Firstly, here are her different colours. So you can see this is her default costume. Then she has a pink dress, a yellow dress, a green dress, a red dress, purple, black, and red and white. But we are going to stick with her in her default colours and then let's get things started. So if I begin by zooming in the camera, you can see there she. this is what she looks like from both angles. Luma floating right in front of her as well, so that's obviously going to be a key component. Okay, so let's kick it off by looking at the A moves. Firstly, if I press A once, you'll see that the, she kind of waves her one, but Luma punches for her. And if I chain this together, you can see that I can sort of chain together a little combo. Now, what you might notice as well is if I do this in quick succession and I continue to do this, then the Luma gets further and further away, so I can kind of get pretty good reach with this. There is, however, a finite distance, so Luma will not travel to the end of the, the level, so you can't just kind of use this indefinitely. But if I move over here to sort of like a moderate distance, and then you can see I can use this, and then uh, stop that there. So yeah, it's got uh, it's got relatively decent range. Then if I press uh, across an A, then again uh, Rosalina kind of does this. Basically, the the Luma sort of mirrors anything I'm doing. So does a sort of spin kick. It's got kind of again moderate range. Uh, that one's not quite as good as the other one. Then if I press down, I do sort of like a, a downward slash, a slash, sorry, a downward kick. Sweep. If you press up A. Then you can use this to launch up. And obviously juggle as well if you so wish. Then if I'm sprinting and I press A, then I'll kind of sort of lunge forwards and uh, sweep the character up. So it's also sort of like a semi semi range attack plus also a launcher as well. So that's useful there. And then whilst in the air, if I press A, I uh, do this sort of sideways kick but while Rosalina sort of flips in the air. If I press across an A, then I kick sideways. And if I press back an A, then I kick backwards. Then also if I jump over him and press down an A, then I sort of do this uh, downward spike. And then up an A, you can see here, just uh, launches further. So those are your A moves. Now let's take a look at the smash moves. So across A, smash is that. Obviously Jigglypuff was on a high percentage, so that's why he went flying. But ordinarily, it would be like this. Then down smash is that. It's got quite a short range. You want to sort of use that in the right scenario. Up smash does that. So if we do that close up, there you go. Another launcher. And that's that. So that's your cross smash, down smash, and up smash. Then moving on to B moves. If I press B once, I send my Luma flying out. And if I press it again, I can call him back. If I do this within the right range, then it will also cause damage on impact. And again, I can call him back. Then if I press a cross B, I will fire out this barrage of star bits. And the interesting thing with this one is if I combine this with B, send my Luma out, and then press a cross B, I can then use the range to my advantage. So that is uh, the other kind of reason for sort of sending your Luma out. So like that, and then like that. As you can see there, if I then press down B, this is actually used to deflect projectiles. So if someone's either you know firing things at me or throwing objects at me, like items and things like that, then I can use this to deflect and deactivate them. Then lastly, you have up B, which is my recovery, which actually has really, really good height, all things considered. Then let's take a look at her final smash. So if I go and break that and then press these together, you see that basically she launches out this uh, massive star, which then gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it sort of starts firing things out. And then it eventually gets to sort of the finite size and explodes. So it kind of does double, it's got like a two-prong attack. Firstly, it fires out these stars which will hit people, you know, while they're moving around the level, and then it also explodes at the end. So they are the A moves, smash moves, and B moves, and the final smash. Now let's take a look at her taunts. So up taunt, she'll spin around like that. I'll do it from this angle again. Left, she will uh, wave a wand and the Luma dances, and then down, she will do that. Then also you have uh, throws from various different directions, so up throw, left, back, and down. Now the other thing to note as well, if I put uh, Jigglypuff onto attack, my Luma does actually act as a kind of shield for me. He will actually, if I'm facing this way, take uh, the damage for me at first, but you can actually lo lose your Luma. You see he obviously got knocked over there, but there will actually come a point where if I continue doing this, 
There we go. If it happens too much, then your Luma will fly off. And for a little while, you don't actually have a Luma. You then have to kind of sort of like wait around for a bit and obviously fight without them until the point where they come back. They do also occasionally come back in different colours. The colours are, as far as I'm aware, purely aesthetic. They don't actually have kind of a, a difference in sort of strength or damage or things like that. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, that's kind of all you need to worry about. So do kind of use your Luma sparingly because obviously if it is your primary means of attack, um, then obviously without it, you are a much shorter range character. So that's it for the A moves, B moves, smash moves, throws, and all that good stuff like that. So let's jump over to a match now and take a look at her in action. Three, two, one, go! And there you have it, that is Rosalina and Luma in action. So hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, show your support. That's really helped me out. And obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Also drop a comment down below and let me know which character you still want to see. And I will be happy to make videos of them this weekend. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.